Special thanks to Thingy, Lemon314, Lord Entropy, Avali Long, JL, Laszlo Panaflex, Nubix Cube, Val Sharan, A, Bender Waffles Feek, Metric Conversion, Tastari, Ministry of On We Control, Miku Zeech, and Grizzly Old B for sponsoring the creation of these videos. Go to David X Newton on Patreon to join the ASCII Brigade. It looks like a nice sunset. Let's head to the beach. What kind of beach? A slaughter beach with some fireballs. There's a nymph there. Uh, this is Slaughter Beach uh, by Space Grass. Uh, again, someone who arrived fairly new to the Doom 2 uh, community and is already uh, putting out maps like this. So uh, that's uh, it's always amazing to see what people make. That's why I've been doing this for so long. Okay, we've got some uh, barriers set up on the beach. Suggesting there's something interesting going to be... Yeah, there it is. Not even doing well with imp fireballs today. Going to be in real trouble if uh, there are any revenants around. Uh, I saw a BFG there, but uh, you can't go into the water here. Uh, our doom guy is afraid of swimming. That's a dog. I've had a bit of a controversial history with dogs on this channel by now. But that was coming right for me. Um, I like the custom uh, trees and everything. And the whole place looks uh, nicely detailed in, the, in that uh, exact place where, you know, you haven't gone crazy on the uh, sector details. But you can tell exactly what everything is. The uh, boat that was made out of uh, spare parts. Yeah, around, just around there uh, was uh, really nice as well. It's all the uh, computer and light textures. Uh, I wasn't going up there, I was going down here. Uh, maybe I'm not going down here after all. That was another thing I was noticing uh, when playing Command and Conquer over the last month, that uh, all the big targets that they really want you to hit, uh, they've helpfully stacked loads of exploding barrels next to them. If the uh, Soviets had better toxic waste management, uh, they might have taken over Europe. Do you know how long it took me to uh, realise why that game was called Red Alert? It's embarrassing. Well, the dogs aren't really all that threatening. <laughs> All right, we've got plenty of uh, coloured key doors here. Is this a... Uh... Oh no, this isn't a multi-layer situation. This is uh, just one of those uh, Doom 2 moments where you think, surely, I've, I've got to be below where I was before now, but uh, no, it's, it's just uh, done in such a neat way. Oh, hello. That was the... Uh... Politest expression of shock that I've uh, yet managed. I love the uh, vines coming down, the overgrowth on the walls and everything. Yeah, I thought I saw or heard someone coming out there. <laughs> hmm. I'm considering if I should. Uh... Oh, am I, am I allowed to jump? I hope I am. I'm considering whether I could uh, snipe this from the other side of the wall. Because truth be told, I thought this was much later on in the level and that I wouldn't uh, be coming back this way. Again, just look at the, just these little details. You don't have to use a lot of sectors. Big metal thing, rampy thing on top, put a pipe in the ceiling. It, it looks great. All right, we've got the blue door. Was there another one elsewhere? 
This is great how this room uh, wraps back down. There is another blue door, but uh, my uh, language of the game senses tell me that this is uh, possibly going to be the correct way to go and that I should use the other one first. I really don't know. There we go. I was uh, fortunately facing in the right direction to deal with that surprise. And I'm glad that I uh, came back and got the rocket launcher, because I may be in serious trouble very shortly. The uh, unpinned door tracks always look a bit strange to me, but uh, I think I saw someone mention just the other day, I can't remember where, but uh, they look like... Uh, they look like they're, you know, chain lifts or something. As opposed to rails. I always thought they looked like rails. Oh, actually, that one's uh, unpegged and that one isn't. So, uh, I don't know. Make up your mind, but it looks, <laughs> it looks good either way. Whoa, okay. Here I am going on about whether the doors are pegged or not. Yeah. What have we got here? We've got uh, paint, a pair of pliers, and uh, what I thought was a coffee machine at first, but I think it's a drill or a vertical uh, bandsaw. Uh, looking a bit dingy here. At least flying is following me around now. Yeah, they are. Not a bad lift ride, as far as they go in Doom. Well, they spin when you hit them. That's a nice little detail. Can't remember if that's the default behaviour when you get them from Realm 667 or not. Okay, what did that open? Oh, there's a, the Revenant that uh, I dreaded so long ago. That's a broken switch. That isn't. I'm trying to... well, I've only got 73 ammunition from a chain gun. But I'm trying to save that up for when that Revenant gets activated. Oh. Perhaps not. That's a noise from Quake, isn't it? Okay, rocket launcher's better. There we go, no problem. How do I get up there, do you think? Oops. The visuals of this map have been great uh, throughout. From the uh, light, uh, cheery, well, not cheery, but uh, sunsetty beach in the bright sunlight to the uh, dinginess of this and the slight fog. I think that's, uh, I think the lighting of the sector is very slightly discolored so that it doesn't fade to black, it fades to this sort of brownie, uh, smelly color. And there's a promise of getting outside again. Uh, what's going to happen to me on the way back, do you think? Uh, nothing yet, but uh, let's see what's beyond those yellow doors. I was watching the old uh, Carol Yobes video today about uh, the history of speedrunning the chasm, and it was incredible how it got from you know, over two minutes with people on keyboard controls to uh, just over 30 seconds now. And 
one of the speedrunners in their uh, text file called uh, the Pink Demons Pigs, uh, which isn't something I heard before. I, d I don't remember people calling them that. I used to call them demons until really very recently, when uh, I realised everybody else called them pinkies, so that I've now got into that habit. And uh, the modern dooms got into it as well. I think they called the uh, pink demons the pinkies in uh, both of theirs. I, I love the um, fatality you can perform on them in uh, Doom 2016. There's one where you rip out its pelvis and smack it over the face and it just dies of embarrassment. Uh, where is... yeah, this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I've got it. These are... Fantastic little lights. How do you do that? There's some uh, use of spotlights rotating. I, I didn't realize you could do that. Maybe just moving around horizontally. No idea. Okay. <laughs> Wonder if I can just switch that anyway and it would work. Um, I wonder how to get in there. That does seem to be openable, but it's not going to be from here. Get down there? Oh, that one opens. Oh, where'd you come from? Don't see many uh, light amplification visors in Secrets or really anywhere else. Maybe it'll come in useful. Maybe it'll run out before I reach the top of this lift. Oh! Haven't seen you before. So again, new threats on the way back. Keep things interesting. The lift section's actually fairly easy for, uh, you know, by the standards for what those uh, lift sections can throw at you when you're trapped in the narrow space. Again, definitely not a complaint, just an observation. Uh, I was asked to talk about uh, health and ammunition uh, as well, which have both been fine so far. Uh, the fact that I'm at 100% health might mean that your health is fairly generous, but uh, ammunition is... It's at the right place, I think. It's where I'm having to switch between weapons. It's not uh, completely straightforward, but I'm not having to berserk around with my fists. I like how you use uh, new areas in old areas. You open up the monster closets even further. And uh, in some cases, uh, teleport them into existing places. Is there anyone down there? No. Phew. All right. Uh, that looks like a secret there. I know I'm uh, kind of doing two routes at once here, which is a bad habit. I should uh, pick one and stick to it. Just going back and forth on uh, which yellow door to take. Oh, the Again, I'm, I'm glad I came back here. Um, <laughs> this is different. Yeah, that's a nice detail, changing the lighting. The fat bloke's escaped again. Ah! It's so, uh, tense when... You've got the, uh backed into a corner and you need to change weapons and there's a chain gunner because you know, those 
five or ten minutes that it takes from Doom kind to change weapons can make all the difference. making sure to scavenge. Oh, that's a nasty trick, putting the shotgun in there. Again, you can hide enemies in uh, really surprisingly small spaces. There we go, okay. Oh, I shouldn't have jumped, sorry. Um, well, pretend that I did it that way. No problem. All right, we can't get past this bit of rock. Uh, looking unhealthy in that room. Nice use of uh, prematurely opening the door to cause a surprise. doing in here? Alright, that's the demon squashing units activated. Uh, those won't be a problem anymore. Uh, mostly on fire. Yeah, this is another map where there are uh, layers to the environment. Not like I say about layers to your uh, texturing. Where you've got things like this uh, little arch in the bigger arch. Which is also a good thing. Uh, but the sense that there's this underbelly to the map. Uh, and on, on top of that you've got the uh, base and the technical offices. And then beyond that, you've got the uh, beach surrounding it. Very pleasant place to take a holiday. All right, we are going to find a red key. Uh, your imp's stuck there. Don't worry, I sorted him out. I love the... Uh, plants uh, hanging over the cave entrances. That's a really good use of textures and uh, every time I, I see a detail in that I love in one of these maps I always uh, remember. I always try to remember. I've got to use that next time I do an environment like this. But I've never quite uh, achieved something as nice looking. Right. Uh, where was that? Yeah, okay, yeah. I noticed this, this uh, repetition of this pattern here, <laughs> uh, which I don't think... Uh, UDB has a way of randomizing that yet. Not at the uh, touch of a key. I usually select it all and hit left and right and shift a few times and then deselect one of them. But I think you should be able to uh, select them all and just uh, set random texture offsets. It reminds me of, um, uh, before we had Penny, uh, we would have these uh, birthing classes at the nearby hospital, and the, the door to the conference room, uh, they'd used uh, printed, uh, I don't know what they are, but they were, they were planks that had been, they weren't real wood, they were printed, and they used all the same plank. And so it was the most unrealistic door that I've ever seen. Uh, it, it looked like that, just with the uh, pattern repeating. 
Oh, is there anything uh, juicy down here? Just some demon juice. Aha! Soul juice. What does the soul sphere taste of? Does he eat it? These are the real questions I'm asking. Red key! Bloody flies again. I'm one of those people uh, that mosquitoes are unnaturally attracted to. Whenever there's a group outside and uh, in a foresty area, I'm always the one uh, that gets bitten and nobody else does. Which people like to joke about, you know, but... <laughs> It kind of, it kind of ignores that it. I, I don't really like going for walks in the woods and things because that always happens. Ah, you've been uh, doing something illegal here, haven't you? Now that's definitely wrong. You've got the door on the inside of the door. Let me find one thing to uh, identify that I'm sure about. All right. Oh, no. Oh, that uh, emergency over. Yeah, I was uh, lucky to catch that archfile where I did and not an inch closer. Oh, here's another alert area. Zombie with an important job there. Yep, still eight devils. Oh, they're in there. Okay, I was worried because I heard these uh, spectres, pinkies. It's actually unusual that they're in there where they can't uh, cause any uh, damage whatsoever. Uh, is it just that one that opened? Ah, this one as well, okay. And... Okay, that's, uh... Some of the doors open. It's great use of sexual lighting here. Just all throughout, uh the mustiness of the uh, tunnels and the fieriness of the rooms that are on fire. Ah, this way. I can get up here. Nice of them to put a switch uh, in the air vents. Ah. No. Is it a case of... I'm never going to make it all the way over there, am I? I am! All right, I thought it was a case of uh, having to activate it with that line and then retreat and then go up the stairs so that you don't uh, trip the closing. Which uh, would have been a very Doom Zero kind of secret. Uh, I always loved the secrets in that, they were so creative. 
uh, being handed an inordinate number of uh, cells as I go through here. Yeah, there we go. Not entirely unexpected. Is that a rocket? It's like golden, I know. That's good. That wasn't an entirely straightforward Cyber Demon fight because of the awkwardness of the arena. You can't just dodge wherever you want. You've got to strike a balance between hiding behind that rocket that gives you cover and uh, actually poking your head out so you can shoot him. Alright, I didn't find many secrets on this. Still got seven to go, so there are plenty of uh, other things to discover. Yeah, and that's, that's going to exit me. Uh, yeah, so... Spectacular looking map. I love the uh, lighting effects, all the different layers to it, like I've said before. Uh, a couple of other things that I've uh, thought of as I've uh, been going along here. Uh, it was quite easy in quite a lot of places, uh, because uh, a lot of the corridors are very cramped. Monsters don't really have anywhere to go and you can retreat, uh, but the encounters in the bigger rooms I thought were really good. Uh, just all the chain gunners that were just in the vents, for example, or in the tiny corridors, you, you can just shoot them and get over with. They don't pose a threat at all. But again, uh, that is not necessarily a bad thing. And uh, again, this is just a wonderful looking map. And I hope that uh, this turns into something bigger. Thanks once more to everyone listed here for sponsoring my videos. If you'd like to join the Discord or have some ideas for future games to cover, please look at David X Newton on Patreon.